than okay. Max, you're not supposed to have that on in here. Well, there's lots of things you're not supposed to do when you're in here. Oh. Hello. Hi, Ron. Bev, are you sure that's what Jackie would want? Well, Jackie's not here, is she? Hmm. I suppose this is what she means by keeping on low profile. Anyway, you'll know we'll get the blame if no one turns up. Oh, sugar. What's up with it? What did the paramedics say? Well, nothing, just that I should come down for some tests, but, well, I was fine. I walked away, didn't I? Just look, eh? Max, can I borrow your phone? Mine's in the car. Yeah. And everything checked out okay? Oh, will you stop worrying? The only damage was to the car and the no claims. <sighs> Talk about reliving your worst nightmare. <sighs> Thank God you won't. <laughs> Either of you. You know, it's made me realise just how much I want this baby. I know it's going to be scary and it's going to be difficult too, but it can't be fun. I'm going to do everything I can to make it easier. Proper childcare, move to a bigger house, Max. somewhere with a decent garden. Hey, who knows, we might end up near the school, so I won't have to do that school run once they've all sort of... Max. Look, I, I'm sorry, but I, I just don't feel that way. You might feel like that now, but... No, nothing's changed. I feel nothing for this baby. I thought you'd have gone straight to the footy. Yeah. No, I, uh, just popped on for the butty. Some day off I've had. Got squeezed in to do my mum's hair. Two hours looking through glossy magazines while she decides which royal she wants to look like. How about Jim? <laughs> hey, but I think I deserve a bit of fun, don't you? And seeing as you're here... <laughs> Comes round fast that time of the month, doesn't it? Don't be so cynical. The timing is a total coincidence. Die, die. Uh, you better know. Our auntie has been in trouble again. Miss Cody collared me. There was some kick-off yesterday. Some lads got him in the toilet and the teacher caught our auntie laying into one of them. Well, I tried to have a word with them, but no joy. Blood from the stone routine. I thought we turned the corner on all this. Well, I think we still have. Lads ganging up on him? What's up with the kids in that school? Yeah, but I tell you what, I bet they don't bother him again. I mean, to be honest, I made up for them. At least he's standing up for himself. These lads been picking on him for a while, or what? I mean, maybe that's why he's still so down. But it sounded like it was a one-off, and it sounded like he was on top as well. I just wish he'd learned to do it earlier. A bit of force would have seen him melted off a long time ago. Well, I'll have a word with him anyway. Anyway, where were we? I suppose we should have a quick one. Well, there's no need to sound so enthusiastic. Well, I'm not in the mood now, am I? But that's not the point, is it? I'm glad to see I still make you weak at the knees. Anyway, you'll have to wait till later now. Hey, come on, it won't take long. <laughs> You can even keep your socks on. <laughs> you have to wait till later. Come on. Oh, oh woman, I'm going to play footy. You you're know gonna, you want me. You're going to wear me out. <laughs> <laughs> Why stop this being something happy for us? I had it all mapped out. I knew we were going to take them to Disneyland when they were older. I was going to buy them a car for the 17th, but I'll never have the chance to do that. But now... You've never asked me if that's how I see the future. But how can it not be when we've got two already? Yeah, two that I can't cope with, Max. Yeah, but this is what I'm trying to say to you. We'll make it easier this time. I thought it was going to be easy staying at home, didn't I? I mean, compared to running a business, it's a doddle, right? And it was the other way around. You don't have to cope alone. You all well, wanted to. And I feel so guilty because I couldn't. And I know it's going to happen again, only this time it'll be worse because I won't have the excuse that it wasn't really my baby. Well, I'm almost relieved. Relieved? Hmm? It's not even unusual. Susanna was the same. Patricia was. Maternal feelings can come later. You just don't get it. You wanted to walk away from Harry, but you changed. I won't change. You're just like Susanna sometimes. Yeah, well, I'm not Susanna, all right? No matter how much you might want me to be. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I've got to get to the bar. Jackie. Riverside Police held a press conference today as the search for a missing 12-year-old girl intensified. The little girl, Imelda <gasps> Cook, was left Leave the tally on my, don't you? Girl. Stick all my lights on, man, you're at it. Hey, Tim, just throw all my cash down the bar, eh? I know that I don't know where you are or why you've gone, but I just want to tell you that 
We miss you. We want you back home. All I want is to have my family back together again. Get in line, love. Oh, my God, is everything all right? Well, yeah, as long as you're OK. Look, everything will be fine here, no worries. Yeah, are you... St are you still... OK, take care of yourself. Bye. Car crash. Oh, no. Yeah, that's bad news. She's still coming in. Oh, Max, please, let's just... Not until we've talked. Look, I don't want to stick the knife in Max. But it's obvious why you want this so bad, and, and it's not fair. What? Oh, don't make me say it. No, 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 come on. Wh what? Guilt. Over Susanna. She wanted Harry. She wanted that future with you all together. And if you had, you'd never have gone off on that fair one, would you? And in the end, that future never happened, did it? Cos... Well, I know why. Oh, well, thank you for bringing it up. I'm sorry, but sometimes I think you're trying to put right everything that went wrong with her, isn't it? Frighten me because I'm not here. I can't be here and... What? And if I'm being honest, maybe that's why I'm terrified of having this baby with you. You should have gone to the hospital. That massive no point. You can be here say bad things coming. Three years ago, in the tens and twenties round here, lady. Oh, no, she's fine, Max said so. Just try and enjoy yourself. Some hope. Look, I'm just going to let her fall. No, you're not. You're here now. Will you just relax, grab that table, and I'll get the ale in. Don't even get a hello. I mean, what happened to the time you used to come and tell me all about your day? Well, I've got all work to finish. If I don't finish, I'll get done. We'll do it at the table, not sitting on your bed. How is school at the moment? All right. So, if you've been fighting or anything, you'd have told me. Well, then, it, it was just messing about. Are you sure? Because if you're having problems again, I want to know. I mean, it helped with a melter, didn't it, in the end? We all worked it out together, didn't we? Mum, school's fine. We'll just get off my case. <sighs> well, I don't want you disappearing upstairs until that's done. Merseyside police held a press conference today as the search for a missing 12-year-old girl intensified. The little girl, Emelda Clough, was last seen over three weeks ago. Emelda's mother, Jean Clough, today made an emotional appeal for her daughter to return home. Emelda, I don't know where you are or why you've gone, but... There's always been something between us. When you were pregnant, I knew then when we were locked in that rubble together. Or was it because I was carrying your child? No. No, I can't believe that you think that. I just... I just can't believe it. Well, I don't want to, but sometimes I... OK, maybe then I did feel that. I felt that because... I, I couldn't replace her. And I thought... I didn't feel entitled to... to have anybody else. Max. But I can't help but think, what if you can't ask me not to? Max, it's OK. Promises. I am useless at promises. And I can promise not to do anything to hurt you again. But what's the point? Because I can't keep promises. But today... I... I honestly thought that I'd lost you. And... I wouldn't have been able to... I wouldn't have been able to carry on without you. I, I... I know that. Come on, I'm sorry. I want it, you know. I want us to... to grow old together. With you. And, and, and me and... and Harry and... Emma and... I know. Talk about difficult pregnancies, eh? Last time you were pregnant, the the shock fell in on top of us. And I mean, 
this time. Well, maybe it's a good omen. <laughs> when you uh, had all those pains with, with Harry, <laughs> remember the hospital, but they ran all those tests and you were fine in the end. Let's drive, eh? They run all those tests with you today because last time... Oh, come on, Max, I've got to be at the bar. Let's get off. What test did they run on you? You didn't tell them, did you? Jackie, we have to go back. There's no need. Not even the shock. There could be more harm than you realise. I'd know if I wasn't all right. But what if the baby wasn't all right? That's what you're hoping for, isn't it? I'm enjoying myself. I'm fine. Cheers. You'll be wrecked. Mm. A few more of these, and I'm any ones. So, uh, what are you doing after? Well, after this. Well, what have you got in mind? Never know where we might end up. Not on a school night. Oh, come on! Don't be boring. I'll show you a good time. I'll have to see. Hiya. Hiya, you, Bev. Give us a whiskey, with you, love? Hey, it's great to see you across one of these bars as opposed to... Uh... Yeah, yeah, cheers. Must have been terrible for you, Mum. Yeah, and it doesn't end when you get out. That's what they don't tell you. What do you mean? Ah, ignore me. I'm just feeling a bit sorry for myself, you know? How about you? Me? Oh, you think you've got problems? You shouldn't go work for your Jackie. Still hard as nails. Work still done her, eh? She manages to bounce back, whatever she comes up against. Yeah, I could do with a bit of that myself sometimes. I just, I just can't seem to shake on my problems at the moment. Well, what's the matter? Well, playing second fiddle here for a start. At least you're still part of the band, love. I didn't know you were that fed up. Ignore me. I'm just feeling sorry for myself. Comes with having no one to bore with all my problems. I know exactly what you mean, love. Ah, uh, this is on the house. But don't tell the boss. Oh. Cheers. You, uh, look very nice tonight, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Anthony, are you going to get that or what? Why your dad insists on ringing the bell when he's got a key in his pocket? I'll never know. Yeah, yeah. Happy now, are you, eh? Mom! How does it make Daddy. you feel knowing a little Mommy! girl's run away from home because of you? Does it make you feel like the big man? Does it? Ah! You think it's clever or funny or what? Ruining somebody's Mom! life. Go Stand on. Off. What about you, Dad? Ah, oh, go on. Might as well. <sighs> Tell you what, you would, wouldn't you? I have, mate. So have I. And I like a bit of pool. So beat that. He's done nothing! Apart oh. from making up all these lies. He's had her out of school. He's had all her friends wanting nothing to do with her. She was a vindictive oh. little cow. You, Can't you see she what was going what? on? Back off! Go on. Try not on me this time, mate. Paul. Just try. Paul! Get inside. Go on. You two. Do one. You don't have to look very far to see where he gets it. That's right, love. Now get off. It's parents like you who won't see any harm in their precious kids. You're the problem. He drove her away. For all I know, she could be lying dead somewhere. Oh, you want to stay to those windows? I don't suppose there's any point in asking you to go back for the test. Hey, Dad, I'm sorry I'm late. You all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. What did you do with it? How's the car? Oh, no one's here. That's all that matters, isn't it? Anyway, is everything being all right here? Did all the guests arrive, all the health club lot? <laughs> Taking me down. 
Francis? Yeah, in a bit, eh? Oh, come on, it's boring, isn't it? Oh. Excuse me. Oh, way, hey, I'm not clearing what that. What's going on? Uh, we just had a little accident. What? Why aren't you working? You were supposed to stay till nine. I did. It wasn't even nine when I got here. Uh, that's because I was working in the health club, you know, like you're paying me to. I mean, I've done everything here. I saw we were together the whole time, weren't we? Yeah, you bet you were. What? <sighs> Why did you let her go? No, I'm not a boss. You were today. And I'll tell you something else, I nearly died when I saw the state of those windows who did that. I worked myself to the ground getting this place ready today. Yeah, but to be fair, Bev, that is what I pay you for. Just get this cleared up, please. No, I don't think I will. I think I'll have me break now. See how my son is. Excuse me. Rob? What are you doing out here? Worried? Well, I haven't seen him that low since I lived with him. I just can't find anything to look forward to anymore, Bev. I'm going to end up on my own. It's all I deserve, I know, but... Oh, Ron. Come here. Hey, you just need a little bit of TLC. And if me and you can't have a little cuddle together after everything we've been through, then who can, eh? Let's go upstairs. What's yours? Yeah, come on. Let's see if we can cheer each other up. Yeah, OK, yeah. What, you gone? No, I was just seeing Bev off. <laughs> Jim, I've decided I'm going to give another try with you, know. I mean, you probably think I'm soft taking him back. No, he's not perfect, but... Voluptuous. I mean, you say that to a woman, and she'd think, she'd tell her that she's fat. I mean, you don't realise that's what men like. Not straight up and down, like models. Chests, big behinds. Jimmy, I knew you shouldn't have started drinking. Childbearing hips. Something to get hold of, that's what I want. Jimmy. <laughs> Childbearing hips. It's genetic. I just want someone who can give you the baby. It's natural, it's normal. Jim, come on, take it easy. Is he all right? Do I sort you out? No. I'm just telling her what I want. I want a woman and I want a baby. There's nothing wrong with me. I just need normality. A woman and a baby. Take no notice of what they said. <laughs> Anthony, Imelda going away. It's got nothing to do with you. You know that, don't you? You've only got to look at the family to see that something's going wrong somewhere. They've only got themselves to blame. I feel sorry for anyone with a missing kid. But if anyone can survive, it's that one. <laughs> <sighs> what is it, Aunt? <laughs> Listen, all you've ever done is stand up for yourself. Now... If that's the worst they can say about you, well, you've got nothing much to worry about now, have you? <laughs> of course, when I was a bar owner, I could tell Josh had achieved something. Now what am I, eh? Just a jumped-up barmaid. That's your role? No, thanks, no. Ooh, I know what I've got. Of course, I'm brassic now, so we can't buy many nice stuff. Can't spend any time with them, cos I'm always working. I can't afford to get anyone decent to look after him because I don't earn enough. And I can't meet a decent fella because I'm either working or I'm with Josh. <laughs> Listen, Bev, uh, I think I should go now, really. Oh, I think I'm running off. We're having a nice time, aren't we? You sure? I mean, you don't want me hanging around here. <laughs> Ron, you can stay as long as you want. Is there any chance of staying the night? Yeah, I can throw a few blankets on the sofa if you want. Wasn't all about the sofa, Bev. 
if we've both got the same problems. What? Oh. the fun isn't going to do us any harm. Rod, no! Come on, you wouldn't have asked me, baby. Oh. You didn't want to. Rod, no, I uh, mean it! I've been inside for four months. Rod, no! You'd do it for a gay fella's mother, though, wouldn't you, eh? Why don't you do it for me? What? That Brazilian fella. I mean, come on, Bev, a gay bloke. What's up with you? And now suddenly like that, you're making out that you've gone all fussy. You? <laughs> That'd be a first, wouldn't it, eh? <laughs> God, I'm sorry, Bev. What was all that about, please? I'm sorry, Bev. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to be a friend to you, Ron. And this is how you carry on. I know, love, and I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I, I just lost control. Just forget about it, eh? Just sit down and forget about it. No. Ron, it is OK. Just sit down. Bev, I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Ron! <laughs> I haven't seen you this slow since after Susanna died. Oh, look, I'm sorry for what I said, and I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for you. You were right about before. Let's just leave it tonight. No, I'm all right now. I've got things off my chest. I'm going to have this baby, so I might as well get used to the idea. And perhaps I will feel differently once it's here. Seems like you're sure you won't. Well, how about you give me the benefit of the doubt? Oh, don't worry about work. I want to go on somewhere. Hey, what about your babysitter? Won't she be waiting for you? Yeah, probably. So I might have to end up sleeping somewhere else, <laughs> so I don't have to face it. Oh, come on. That's it. What? Got her. She's out. So this is who you've been screwing behind my back, eh? Do you mind? I don't know what you're talking about. It's because of you and that song. Oh, don't you start. You don't know how hard it's been. Hey, this fella's your age. You need to take a pill for that, you know. Reading this has made me wonder whether I want to give up on all that energy, all that passion. Get off me! Anthony! All of that is on Wednesday at 8. Catch up on Brookie. The Omnibus is on tomorrow from 5 past 5. Next tonight, those nutty priests mount a rescue of Father Jack as he's finally put away in Father Ted. Taking me to school, have you? <gasps> Becky's mum can't pick me up. Um, no, well, uh, I'll get ready in a minute. I think I better take you to school. Can get your things ready, Lou. So, what did you get up to last night? Or should I say this morning? Um, a few of us just went back to some flat. That's all. Till after four o'clock. Were you waiting up for me or something? You must have woke up the whole parade. And you left a trail of clothes from the bathroom to your bed. I'll tidy them up. Too late. I've already done it for you, as usual. Oh, thanks. So, whose flat was it? Oh, just some lads. Anyway, who do you think you are? My mother? <sighs> Good way to start the day. <sighs> Look at the time. Oh! I can't even walk. <laughs> Worth it, though, I hope. And you better get a move on. Just trying to give those little fellas of yours a helping hand. I'll be late from work. Oh, I don't care. I'm fed up with that place. If we do manage to hit the jackpot, being pregnant could get me out of that shop as well. Oh, for the minimum of maternity leave. 
There's no way that we can do without your money. I could go mobile. Julie Raven, our old area manager, has been doing really well since she started working for herself. I'd love to be my own boss. Yeah, well, you're not, are you? So come on, hurry up. Oh. <sighs> Can't take it anymore, eh, Molly? <sighs> it's a long time since I've had to watch me back. What got into you? Complaining, are you? No. Ordering more for tonight. <sighs> At least none of ours are missing, eh? Thankful for small mercies. All round. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I've done you a decaf. Oh, cheers, love. And that's the last of the milk. I'd go out and get some more, but I literally haven't got a penny. So what are you going to do for your bus fare to uni this early? I'll go and read the couch. There's always slummy between the cushions. There's a tenner there by the phone. No, you're OK. You can get some shopping in with it, can't you? OK, thanks. Here you go. Is that strong enough for you? Yeah, fine. You don't have to wait on me hand and foot, you know. I'm sorry. Have you been um, taking your meds yet? Don't worry. Reality shut out for another day. You made it in then? Come to check up on me, have you? And to let you know that Louise got to school, okay? Oh yeah, thanks. Morning. Oh, you obviously had a late one. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, apart from the red eye and the broody breath. Sammy, this is supposed to be a health club. Go and sort yourself out. But... And I want to talk to you about a few other things later as well, in and out of work. <sighs> We've all been into work with Angover's Jack. I mean, I nearly lost my job last week. I'm more worried about her and Sol. What do you mean? Well, she's been throwing herself at him ever since she started here, and I think he's finally given in. Are you sure? Well, no, which is why they've both still got a job. But I'll soon find out what's going on. Morning. Good opening duty tonight. So, apart from our Sammy being up to her old tricks, how did the opening go? Oh, it was good. We had a really good crowd and it was a great night. I um, I had a bit of an accident in the car. Are you OK? Oh, yeah, fine. It was nothing. It was just a little bump. And is everything OK with the...? Well, I'm still pregnant, if that's what you're on about. You don't sound very happy about it. Well, let's just say the time of this pregnancy isn't exactly ideal. Well, it's a baby you're talking about, not a board meeting. I don't know. I just wish it wasn't happening right now. So, Casey, look, can we talk about this later? I've got things to do. Yeah, OK. See you then. See ya. Ah, too long over for uni, eh? No, we lectured until one. Anyway, can I feel all right? So what happened with you and Jimmy last night? I noticed he had you cornered. He was just on one, that's all. Well, you better get used to that, you know, now you're playing there, see? No, he's OK. I just think he's a bit lonely. Well, just don't end up replacing Jackie or Lindsay in his life, that's all. No, he's getting himself sorted. I just think he needs to find someone. He'll be lucky. The amount of baggage he carries. Well, he can't be that bad. What about you two? Hey, do you mind? It's strictly between me and Jimmy. I'm only saying he could find someone. Yeah, well, let's hope he does, eh? For his sake, as well as yours. Ha-ha! It's the man of Park Moore. What can I say? Well, how about can I have a feel next time? As opposed to just lunging in like you did last night. Bev, I'm really sorry. So you should be. I must have had a few too many. I can use the handle the ale as well. I know I was only inside for four months, but everything's taken a lot of getting used to again. Including Bev Ian. Well, your chat-up technique's gone out the window. Bev, you won't tell anyone, will you? As if. Thanks. Getting enough funny looks as it is. I can feel everybody's eyes on me all the time. It'll pass. Yeah, but I don't know if I can handle much more of it. Of course you can. I'm falling to pieces. You just... you just need to get into a routine. It's not that easy. Not an arrows. When I came out of prison, I thought I'd got away from being forced to live with strangers in cramped conditions. Then when I got home, it's bloody worse. Home. <laughs> That's a laugh. I feel more out of place in that house than I did inside. Don't exaggerate. I mean it. My life is... It's just a complete mess. Why don't you come to mine? I mean, you gave me counselling on Fred. Maybe it's my turn. Thanks. Just keep your hands in your pockets. Oh, I'm sorry, I was only messing. Come on. I don't think she's going in the game, Palmer. My dad Drachen should be at the bottom of the table. Bye now. I ain't you know. No, she was a light little cow. Quiet! I do not want to hear any more.
of these ridiculous rumours about Imelda Clough, do you hear me? <laughs> the police have told us they are confident of her turning up any time now, so please keep your offensive gossip to yourselves. Now open your books of where we left off on Tuesday. Is there anything you'd like to own up to, Anthony? Like your missing homework? Oh, I'll sit at home again, miss. This just isn't good enough, you know. I think you should stay behind after lessons. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The thoughts of a man totally alive, Jimmy Corkill. Every word crackles with energy, and I don't even remember writing it. What is he? It's my account of the raid. You know, how it happened. What I felt. I knew I'd written something down. I thought I'd lost it, and then I found it backed up in a folder. Here it is, everywhere, jumping off the page. Great. Listen, I know it got out of hand, all that business with the Tom one. That you could have been killed thanks to Tim and Steve. They should have known better. Forget all that. It's not important. Reading this has made me wonder whether I want to give up on all that energy, all that passion. You mean by stopping taking your medication again? No, by deciding when I should take it. Being in control of my own feelings. Self-management. What happens if it goes wrong? You don't want to put yourself through the last few weeks again. Look, I know there's risks, but at least I'll have a say in how I feel. You know, I can handle it, I know I can. But you said that before. You thought you'd recognise the signs, but you didn't. I'll know this time. I won't let it happen again. I didn't realise how difficult it would be. I kept counting and counting the days to my release, and then when I did get out, it really hit me. I just feel completely lost. You got your family. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our Jacqueline's got a million other things on her mind. Our Michael's one step away from the workhouse, as usual. And Anthea. <laughs> you know, I used to keep imagining her waiting for me outside the prison gates, telling me how sorry she was and how much she missed me. Sometimes I'd tell her to sling her hook. <laughs> but others, we'd hold on to each other and I'd thank her for standing by me. Of course, when the actual day did come, there was no one there, was there? Not even my own kids. I suppose it's all part of me punishment, isn't it? Things will settle down, you know, once you get back to your normal life. This isn't a life, Bev. It's an existence. Ron, you can't think like that. Everything happens for a reason. Four months is nothing for taking a life. Maybe I'm just starting to pay for it now. What are you saying? You think you were guilty now? Hey, Clint should not have been in my house, whatever the circumstances. But I shouldn't have shot him. I'm always going to have to suffer the consequences of what I did that night. Do you think maybe you should talk to someone about this? Well, like a shrink, you mean? Well, it might help. Oh, no, love. That's not for me. Blaming your troubles on everyone but yourself. I know the cause of my problems. I'm just going to have to try and deal with it myself. Ron Dixon is a survivor. The old Ron Dixon, maybe. Not too sure about the one that used to sit in that prison cell crying himself to sleep. Oh, Ron. I mean, it, Bev, look at the mess I've made in my life. I'm a sad, lonely old no-mark with a house full of strangers. Can't be that bad, eh? At least the company. House full of strangers isn't company, Bev. It's just more stress. Look, if things get really bad, you can always stay the odd night here with us, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You really want me, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you're here every now and then. It'd be really good for Josh. I, it'd save me on childminders. Are you serious? Of course I am. I mean, you'd be doing me a favour. Well, I'd love to look after Josh, but... Are you really sure that you want me staying here? Yeah. That's great, that, love. No, no, that's really great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> hey, you never know, I might take it up on that. <laughs> oh, I'll get that for you. Oh, thanks. Don't mention it, you know, I'd do anything for you, so. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go. This other phone's ringing. Yeah, bye. 
Good morning, Brookside Place. It's Sol around. Sol Bennett. Excuse me, but non-members aren't allowed in the club. I need to see my husband. Uh, really sorry, but I have to ring you back. Bye. Come on, Anthony. You're supposed to be writing down the different reactions. It was good, mate. Last night, wasn't it? Lynn, what are you doing here? This is who you've been screwing behind my back. Hey, do you mind? Look, I don't know what you're talking about. You couldn't even cover your tracks. I didn't need your credit card statement. I wish you'd spent this much on me. Hotels, bars, restaurants. Excuse me, would you guys like sort this out somewhere else, please? So is this her? Lynn, no! Get your own man, you slut! <laughs> Julie. I will have to take him to see Mrs. Plummer. I know. Um, I'll uh, start getting this lot cleared up and uh, I'll follow you down. Yeah, I'll give you some dinner. I didn't get looked after like this in Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that much, really. You're doing a great job. Do you reckon? Mm. I'm enjoying it, you know, spending time with you, having a laugh and all that. Reminds me of being with me dad. Ah, uh, your dad. I remember him. He was a good fella, yeah. He'd have been proud of you. You reckon? Too right to do. Listen, if it wasn't for you, I'd be lost. Mm. Okay. Can I borrow your keys? I can't find mine. Oh, what's happened? I've been sacked, OK? Is this because of you and that song? Oh, don't you start! It is, isn't it? Yeah. Why are you wet? Oh, because his nutter of a wife tried to drown me and then Jackie sacked me and I haven't even done anything! Oh, yeah, don't tell me. It was just a fling. It wasn't even that. I really appreciate this, you know, Bev. I hate to see you unhappy. I'm sure you do the same for me. Thanks. I'll uh, bring your putty over in a sec. I could easily get used to this. Oh, well... You're more than welcome. How's the little fella done at school this week? Mm He's -hmm. still finding it hard to settle down. I know how he feels. Do you want some of this on yours? I wouldn't mind. OK. Look, Sol, if your wife's come uh, back around too, she's wasting her time. I've managed to calm her down. She's waiting in the car. Do you realise how bad that little performance reflects on this club? People were terrified thanks to your harem kicking off on each other. Look, I'm really sorry, but... Forget it. I've already binned off your fancy bit, so you can go clear your locker as well. You're fired. I understand. But you're not being fair on Sammy. She hasn't done anything. Nothing went on between us. Oh, Sol, save her for your wife. Yeah, OK, I've been playing around, but not with Sammy. Oh, you're just trying to protect her. I've been seeing Paula, the laundry rep. What? So, Sammy got the hiding off your wife for nothing? Just because you didn't check your facts, you just assumed Sammy was guilty. Hey, now you hang on a minute. You're the one who's out of order here. If you'd have kept your kecks on, your wife wouldn't have turned up on the bounce in the first place. Yeah, and I'll have to pay for that, but Sammy shouldn't have to. I'd better go. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> Ron, you are at it again. Well, you're a very attractive woman, Beverly. He must know the effect you have on me. Yeah, 
You turn into an uncontrollable perk, judging by last night's performance. I said I was sorry, but a man has needs, you know. Desires. And you're having terrible trouble controlling yours. Well, I can't help it, can I? I want to see you up so... but so good. <laughs> Bear, would there be any chance? Oh, come on. It's been a long time since little Ronnie went to Bevland. It's been a long time since little Ronnie's been anywhere, judging by the state of you. You don't know how hard it's been. Hey, this fella's your age. Need to take a pill for that, you know. Bev. Sorry. Oh, come on, love. It's obvious that we've still got feelings for each other. And you can't have forgotten how good it was when we used to. It always was good, yeah. So come on, then. You know how desperate I am Yeah, for you, you see, that's it, Ron. You're desperate. Desperate for anything. It's been that long since you've seen a woman. You don't care who she is. No, 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 it's you. Well, no, I'm only because I'm the nearest thing with a pulse. No, it isn't. Look, little Ronnie is staying exactly where he is. Anyway, judging by the state of you, it'll be over before you even got going. How was your day, sweetheart? OK. Come get changed, Halo. <sighs> Should have guessed you'd be drowning your sorrows. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? My sorrows could swim the channel. Anyway, I'm surprised there's any of this left with you around. You're pathetic. Me sack for carrying on with a married man. When were you ever learn? I don't even want to talk about it. If you don't believe me, then fine. You have got to sort your life out. At least think of Louise if you don't care about yourself. Um, leave Louise out of this. She's none of your business. You act like she's none of yours either. I'm the one who's had to take you to school and back because you're more interested in fellas and getting bladders. Yeah, well, don't worry because we'll be out of your way soon. I'm not staying around here to be accused of all kinds. But you haven't got trouble anyway. Were you ever tempted to? No, I wasn't. Why do people always assume that fellas turn the other way when they're inside? Well, I'm sure some men have a little dabble when they get desperate. Well, not me. All right. So no one bothered you. You managed to keep your soap to yourself in the showers. Do you believe everything you see in the films? No, I don't. But, you know, some big Arthur might have taken a shine into you. Bev, this is no laughing matter, you know. Sorry. Look, you are more than welcome to stay here every now and then, but purely on a bed and lodgings basis. Anything else, strictly self-catering. Oh, just get off me back, will you? Hello? Oh, great, that's all I need. Um, the door's open. Come to join in, have you? Let's all turn on Sammy. Look, Saul's telling me the truth. It's the laundry service ref he's been carrying on with. What? That stick? Oh, great, so she has all the fun and I get all the grief. Do you sex her for nothing? Yeah, but I thought... No, but that's just it. The two of you didn't think. You just assumed I was guilty without even checking the facts. Well, thanks very much. Where are you going? To pack our stuff, we're leaving. Sammy. Get lost. I believe this. I feel really last too. Were you the one who was so sure she was having it off with him? Yeah, well, you didn't even much convince him. <laughs> She's not up there and loads of her stuff's missing. Louise! Are you all right? Why did you do it? Anthony? I've tried. His teacher's tried. Even Mrs Plummer's had a go. He won't say. Do you realise how much trouble you've got yourself into? Either that or he doesn't care. You could be excluded. Are you listening? What's going on, Anthony? I'm sick and tired of this silent routine. And you can stay in there and have a good think about the trouble you're in! What is the matter with him? I don't know. I didn't even know he was capable of anything like that. You should have seen the mess he made. He must have gone berserk. Poor Miss Cuddy, she looked like she was still in shock. What did our Steve say? About it all being down to guilt. God forgive me, but I feel like I'm being punished for having a bit of fun this morning. Don't be soft. Well, what is it then? It's just one thing after Stop and fight 
it's an argument with me. That's why she's run away. She'll be okay. We'll soon find her. Yeah, well, what are we going to do if anything happens to her? We both know why she's run away. She couldn't even stand to be around me. Why did you do it, eh? I don't know. To know is not good enough. You need to start giving us some answers. I have decided to go and see some of my old clients in person. Let them know that I'm back. A fella needs something getting rid of. What? Well, you'll know in good time, won't you? You never told me you've been adding to your website. What do you think? It's sick. That's tomorrow at 8. Coming up, Four's got an expert on the case helping you jazz up your gaff and shift it quick. A brand new series, Selling Houses. All night you'll kill over if you're not careful. Oh, I've really done it this time. So I've driven her away. Oh, don't be soft. Right. Kids can miss them for all sorts of reasons. Oh, come off it, Kate. We both know why she's run away. She couldn't even stand to be around me. Why did you do it, eh? I don't know. To know is not good enough. You need to start giving us some answers. I'm going to try Richard again. You've been trying all night. He must be out. Or he's punishing me for being a crab mum. I'll give him another go. Sammy, the founder. She's at Richard's. What? Where? She's at Richard's. I knew it. I've been going out of my mind and he's playing games. In oh, your oh. mouth, Harry, not over Emma. I'm starting to feel bad about Sammy, you know. Oh, you went to know. I know, but I might have asked before jumping in with both feet and fire, and I... I think I'll go round there in a bit, see if there's any news on Louise. Well, don't go beating yourself up over it. Anyway, it wasn't that long ago she was trying to split us up. Mm. And besides, we've got more important things to think about, like our new baby brother or sister. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't sound so enthusiastic. Oh, I'm sorry. I told you. I was just trying to get it all straight in my head. I can't tell you how happy I am that you did. Mm. I'll get it. <laughs> <sighs> What has that brother been doing to you, eh? Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> you look very smart. Thank you. I've decided to go and see some of my old clients in person. Let them know that I'm back. The only trouble is I can't seem to find an address for that Mr Lomax. Oh, Dad, I've already spoken to him. And he seemed pretty deaf and not that he didn't want to use great grannies anymore. Yeah, but with all due respect, love, he didn't get the chance to talk to me, did he? <laughs> I can't really see what difference that would make, though. Look, love, I know you did a great job while I was inside, but a top client like that needs to talk to the organ grinder. Well, I suppose you're doing something, so... Yeah, but what's the alternative, eh? The only revenue I've got coming in is the rent off Ray and Jesse. Got to find some way to bring the pennies in. Barely got enough cash to buy Bev some flowers later on. Flowers? For Bev? Oh, yeah, well, uh, you know, we had a bit of a misunderstanding and, uh, well, she needs cheering up, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, as you feel like getting things sorted. Oh, yes. Uh, Ron, we didn't want to dump this on you until... Well, until you had time to get settled in. Oh, my neck. Looks like mostly junk mail. Anything that looked urgent we took care of for you. That was what was left over. Listen, uh, you don't mind if I have a quick look through this here, do you? Of course you can. But look, I'm going to have to love yous and leave yous. I'm going to go see Sammy first, see if the police have found Louise, yes? Yeah, she's gone missing. Well, she's run off by the sound of it. Mind you, with a mother like that, eh? And you know what they say, don't you, Maxie, eh? Kids and parents. I'll see you later. Yeah, tell our love. So do you want, Max? Never knew I was this popular. <laughs> Listen, son. I've got to go in to talk to Mrs Plummer first thing. I've got to tell her something. Did someone have a go at you, was that it? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course he is. What else could it be? Well, I don't know. I'm not a flaming minder either, am I? Dad, 
in a mini. Is that new? Yeah, why? Boyfriend alert. Go on, Ant. Tell us what happened. You're always saying I should stick up for myself, aren't you? Stick up for yourself, yeah. Not throw a mm. wobbly because someone's giving you an earful for not handing in your homework on time. Miss Curry said she'd never seen anything like it. She needs to get out more. Could you stop making smart remarks and could you let him speak? Well, one of the lads pushed me in. Well, I thumped them. I knew it. You're the victim and you're getting the blame. That's not what Miss Curry said happened. Did you tell Miss Curry what happened? I never got the chance. There you go. I told you there'd be a reason. Oh, well, that's a relief. He was only vandalising school property because he was fighting. He wasn't fighting. He just said the lad hit him first. Had you done it before? No. Look, lads, scrap. It's what they do. Is it? I don't remember spending as much time in the head's office. Why don't you go and finish getting ready, eh? Do you think he's being bullied again? Well, he said it was a one-off. Look, I'll, um... I'll see if any of the teachers have mentioned anything to Mrs Plummer. Dad? How much? I don't know what I'm going to ask. My mind-reading ability seems to have returned. Well, the thing is, the contact lenses that my nim bought me, they finish. And if I keep wearing them, they might damage my eyes. <laughs> You've got no chance. Shut up, you. Anyway, I was just wondering no. if... No! Why don't we talk about it tonight, eh? When your dad's in a better mood. Jim? Do you mind if I jump on your computer for a minute? Just need to check my email. Yeah, go on, kid. Help yourself. Tap. Can I borrow that paper when you're finished with it? I'll tell you what, that lithium does not bung it up. Might as well wipe your bum with it for all the good that's done me. Oh, well, still no luck. Just checking my number in the ad, see if they printed it wrong. What do you think? You look great. Tim? Yeah, great. Look, looking at your phone is not going to make it ring. So why are you getting all glammed up to go into work? The boss is in. She said she's got some good news for us. Oh, well, you never know. You might be in for a pay rise. Could be. Not with our luck. I've only had one phone call and that was just for a quote. Right, I'm off. See you later. See you later, babe. See you, kid. Jimmy, you never told me you've been adding to your website. Oh, have you seen it? Well, it's difficult to miss when it's your home page. What do you think? I think you should take it down. Why? Because it's sick. No. It's the history of this house. It might be unpleasant, but it's the truth. And the truth will out. Oh, the green! Flipping neck. That's Tell you what, Maxie, the only people I'm popular with are credit card and loan companies. I shall trade you. What is it, a bill? No, just a few tenders for building work and um, a letter from Leanne Powell's solicitor. What does she want? <sighs> she wants me to stand up in court and tell them how Bev assaulted her in the garage. You're not going to, are you? No, certainly not. It's a pathetic attempt to wiggle some cash out of her. So's all this, really. The loan you anything to get you then to hock up to your eyeballs. <laughs> Mind you, I think even this lot would have trouble getting money out of Bev. She's almost as basic as I am. Still a fine figure of a woman, mind. Didn't realise you two were close again. Don't you be getting any wrong ideas. We're just good friends. More's the pity. Yeah, I suppose I need to forget the past and move on. And getting great grannies back on his feet could be just the start I need. So, what's the latest? You sent her the money for the ticket, Richard. Oh, thank God for that. Well, you can just damn well buy her a ticket on the next train home. What, what do you mean she's staying with you? No, I think so. Get lost. <sighs> Bet you're relieved, aren't you? Yeah. Just as well she had someone to go to. What do you mean by that? Oh, look, I've obviously caught you at a bad time. But tell you what, I'll pop back later, all right? Suit yourself. So what did Richard have to say? That she's staying with him. You can't do that. He can if that's what Louise wants. Well, did you speak to her as well? Yeah. Well, she was just trying to spare me feelings. I mean, she feels dead guilty about running away. But I could just tell she doesn't want to come back up here. She doesn't want anything to do with me. Hello? You didn't pay good money That's to have me. your hair done like that, did you? <laughs> hey, the wanderer returns. Have well, you been hiding yeah. yourself? Yeah. Nicky, I'll this is it for you, love. Go through, go through. I am. Uh, wasn't sure to be seeing you again. I need it sometimes, I think. And you come to a decision? I'll make myself scarce. I've come to say I'm sorry. You've said it now. 
So? You never let me finish. Go on, then. Well, I was wondering if you were up for a meal or something tonight. And you think that'll make you disappear and act all OK, do you? Oh. At least it'll give us a chance to talk. If you're prepared to listen, that is. I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you weren't. OK, then. To where we go. Well, I'm a bit brassic, so I was thinking maybe I could cook. No expense spared, then, eh? Oh, give me a break, Nick. I'm trying to apologise here. Sorry. Well, where, then? Well, I was thinking... You no, know, I was hoping that maybe we could do it here. What's up? You mean fed up with you already? Oh, come on, Nick. It's just... Well, it's a bit like coming home, isn't it? Bring it on. So what's the job? A fella needs something getting something rid of. You miss what? Well, you'll know in good time, won't you? How'd you work that out? You're the lifted and shifter. I thought you were my mate. Yeah, I am, but I've never said anything about helping you out. I've got my own jobs to do. Great. The first sign of me needing a hand and you're getting all weird. <sighs> I got you the van, didn't I? Yeah, but you know this thing, it might be a bit big for me on my own. Yeah, that says lifted and shifter, not lifter, shifted and as mug of a mate. Yeah, well, I'll pay you. What if I've got something else on? What, like tuning up a few hours? <laughs> yeah. Well, have you? No. Good. That's sorted, then. This'll be money for old rope. You still haven't told me what it is yet. Mm, all in good time, Stevie boy. And I'm mad for you. All in good time. So I'm a forgiven. Depends on what you cook me tonight. Oh. <laughs> Why do you think Richard didn't call to let you know Louise was there? She told him I'd sent her down there in the first place. And he thought it was typical of me not telling him. And, um, he also said I'm an unfit mother. Well, aren't you going to say anything? Like what? Well, like, he's wrong for a start. Even you have to admit that you have been struggling a bit. Oh, thanks. Thanks a bunch. I get told I am not fit to bring up my own daughter and you agree. We never said that. Well, you didn't have to. It's written all over your faces. It might not be a bad idea if Louise did spend a bit of time with Richard. I mean, at least you know she's going to be safe with him. I don't believe this. He puts me through hell and you take his side. Isn't this about what's best for Louise? Oh, first Louise and now my own sister. You're all against me. Oh, Sammy, look, we oh, can... just forget it. You've had some daft ideas in your time. This beats the lot. I'm telling you, I've we'll scored twice with this one. Money for taking them away, and money when we chop them up. And who's going to do that? Because I've done you all the favours I'm going to with this thing. Don't worry, I wasn't going to ask you. Especially when you got a butcher in the family. I thought you and me Uncle Christy weren't speaking. Yeah, but this is business. <laughs> Still can't believe all the flannel that lad bought. <laughs> what toys does he like? We'll give him a good home. <laughs> You will be going to a good home. Several, probably. As soon as we find your Christy, we get him butchered. How much do you reckon he'll give us for him? I don't know. But bacon's not cheap, is it? It must be at least 20 for the leg of pork. Yep. And times that by four, there's 80. And 50 from the fella for taking him off his hands. You little gold mine, aren't you? <laughs> with the net and fish it out before anyone sees it. If she cares so much about Louise, why isn't she on the train down to London right now? I mean, ask her. <laughs> Listen to another hour of what a tyrant Richard is. I'm going out, stock up on tissues. Do you want to come? No, I think I'd better stay here. I'm sure she's OK. Suit yourselves. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay. Do a locker. No, I'm going to go right state. Well, at least you know she hasn't come to any harm. It's not just that. I feel like such a failure. I mean, my own daughter doesn't want me. I mean, how much of a failure is that? It's not really like that. Yes, it is. No one wants me. Not even so. You know what? You know, I really thought I had a chance with him. Like we connected somehow. And then that Paula one from the laundry goes and gets her hooks into him. He was a married man. He wasn't happy. Anyone could see that. You are not real. Do you know that? Your daughter, my niece, was missing. She could have been anywhere. Anything could have happened to her. And all you can think about is how some other tar beat you to a married man. Yeah, I don't need the lecture. You need to take a long, hard look at yourself. I, I was only... I the only didn't thing mean... you should be thinking about is Louisa's future. That's why she ran away, cos she was thinking about it. Ah, Mr Turnbull. Ron Dixon, proprietor of Great Grannies. You might remember me. Christy's still not answering his mobile. Could be with Leanne. Talk about taking your work home with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. What's that smell? Kune Kune. What? Pig, to you. And what to do in the back of your van? Some fellow wanted it rehomed and paid me 50 buff for it. Let's not stop him with us. No one until I find the demon butcher at Brookside Close. Are you listening to me? Yeah. I had to practically beg Mrs. Plummer not to exclude you. Is that all you've got to say? She said she couldn't go on making allowances because of things that have happened in the past, you understand? Yeah. So if there's any aggro with any of the other kids, you just go straight to the teacher. You don't take the law into your own hands. OK. You could have been in big trouble. So what did you answer, eh? Did you get that raise? No. Uh, but she's offered to promote me, then. Oh, well, then. What did my mum say about that? I know she's a bit hard I don't like, but... I just think about it anyway, cos the salon's all the way across town. So you put that Imelda one out of your mind as well? Yeah. Promise me. I promise. Good lad. What have you got in there? Oh, don't ask. Sounds like someone being murdered. No, it doesn't. But, Mr Turnbull, honestly, if you just come as it... How is she? I'm trying to sort out a play, obviously, you used to us around. Yeah. I have to put a straight on a few things. You think I'm just going to let you walk out? What do you want? I came to apologise. Oh, you better sit down. I wouldn't miss this for the world. <sighs> Look, I made the mistake thinking that you and Saul were having an affair. Yeah, you did. Can you blame me, though, after what you tried to do to me and Max? Um, I thought this was you come to apologise. It is. Anyway, I think I might have jumped the gun a bit. That it, then? So, if you want your job back, you can. Oh, that's big of you. Um, oh, look, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit, you know, Louise. Well, I'll both start on back tonight, then, covering the late shift. Well, it's a bit short notice. Um, yeah, all right, I should be able to manage that. Well, it doesn't mean you'll be getting any special treatment, you know. If you slip up, you'll be out just like Sol was. And you'll have to take a bit more on, you know, until I find someone to cover his duties. Yeah, that's fine. I might take my mind off things. Right. See you later, then. Jackie, thanks. It takes a lot of guts to admit when you've been wrong. Yeah. Like I say, Mr Dixon, sorry to have kept you waiting, but we've got a lot on. Yeah, um, wouldn't we be better off doing this up in your office, like? No, I'll be happy you're doing it down here, if you don't mind. Right. Well, um, the thing is, you see, uh, Mr Lomax, is I've spent most of the day visiting some of my most valued former clients to let them know that Great Granny's is now back on track after my uh, recent difficulties. <laughs> yeah, I read about your difficulties in the paper, along with everyone else. <laughs> so you'll also know that uh, now that I'm back with my hand on the tiller, there'll be no one looking me about, or you, for that matter. Well, I bet there won't. You'd probably shoot them. <laughs> 
I know that you're using another company, but uh, I can undercut whatever you're paying them by 10%. And I can promise you that the quality of service will be every bit as good, if not better. Unbeatable offer, then? Definitely. One that I can't refuse, eh? <laughs> well, that's not what I meant. Well, there are other factors to consider. Like what? Oh, like not wanting to be seen contracting out services for this company to a business run by a convicted criminal. Now, hang on a minute. I'm sorry, but this is a business. This reputation counts. Now, if you'll excuse me. For the last time, we are not shelling out on contact lenses for you. But it's not fair. But if he told you life was fair, it wasn't me, that's for sure. We... No, we couldn't. I'm not made of money, you know. You promised. No, we never. We said that you could keep the ones your then bought you, but you were going to have to pay for the replacements. Yeah, but it's not my fault. My eyes are bad. No one's saying it is. I'd blame the parents. Exactly. It's hereditary, so you should pay. Or your mother. Can I need the table? I've just put that down in front of you. You always paid for me glasses. Have you heard from Uncle Christy? But that's different. How's Can it I different? Play, just eat some more chips first. Well, for one thing, they're more expensive. And anyway, you've got a job. If you want them so bad, wouldn't you pay for them yourself? Have you seen Uncle Christie? No. But what do you want him for? Some fella no needs some advice on meat. But I'm skint. You don't know the meaning of the word. New clothes, you want holidays abroad. <sighs> when I was your oh, age. Oh, here we go. Cue the violins, get the tissues. Hey, less of your lip. Please. The answer is no. Could you two stop arguing? Please. And could you sit and eat that or stop cluttering up the place? And, Aunt, I want you back by half seven, no later. Hiya. Hey. Oh, how did Rachel say the kids were today? Oh, boisterous as ever. She looked worn out when I picked them up. Aww. I think work is a relief for you, eh? Oh, I wish someone crapped in the pool today. Did you see them? No. They were long gone by the time we found it. But thankfully, it was still in one piece. Saved us draining the pool. Must have been kids. Well, if it was, they must have had some appetite. Oh, well, you got it sorted anyway. How are you feeling? I mean, you're coping with work. Yeah, fine. Never felt better. Well, that's good. Really should start thinking about where to put the nursery. It's a bit early for that, isn't it? Well, seven months, not that far away. Seems like a long time to me. A lot of shopping to do as well. Uh, clothes, pram, cot. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting everything. Max, look, do you mind if we talk about something else? It's just that I've had a really long day today and... Well, I've only just come in, haven't I? Hey, glad to see you two back together. I mean, you are back together, aren't you? I was just about to find out. Oh, well, only be a sec. Then you can get on with it. Don't worry about it, James. Your kitchen. Yeah, all the same. I just want to add some tomato puree. Eh? Hey, look, Jim, I'm sure Jay's cooked more than enough for the three of us, so why don't you join us? No, I wouldn't want to gag in on your romantic little setup. Oh, you wouldn't be, would you, Jay? Eh, uh, no. Only if you're absolutely sure. Well, of course, yeah. We wouldn't be offering if we weren't, would we? No. Well, that's very nice of you. And I'm made up to see you talking again. And I tell you what, I'll nip round to the shop and treat you to a bottle of vino, yeah? Give you the chance to have a bit more of a chat. Then we can all tuck into that scran. How's that sound, yeah? Brilliant. Give me that. We're supposed to sleep in my bed. Wouldn't be the first time you've had a pig under the covers. Then in use. Dropped off the planet again. What are we supposed to do with him now, eh? Looks like he's staying in the van tonight. Bit of a stay of execution. Are you really gonna chop it all? You don't just look at it as meat. Look at it as a bag of money on the legs. Hey, do you think we'll get anything for its coat? You never know. She might stop hating you. Did you really think that Max would agree to be a witness for you? You can't deny yourself ever attack me. What's that smell? Oh, I came across some pictures. <laughs> well, whether you like it or not, love, we've both got something in common. You never know. Me and you could even help each other out. Gently, gently. Come on. So that's tomorrow at 8.30.
Up next, blast around the dunes in Dubai with some decent 4x4s. Spin it fast with Driven. Complete and utter waste of time. To think of all the years of service great grannies gave those people. And what's my reward? Kick in the teeth. Hey, come on, you. Don't take it so personally. Yeah, but I thought that I built up a good relationship with my customers. You know, I personally made sure that there was always a cleaner there for them whenever they needed one. And now what? <laughs> I'm away for a few months, and one by one they've taken the business elsewhere. Talk about loyalty, eh? Well, we knew it wasn't going to be easy, didn't we, after what happened? I wouldn't mind, no, Jack. I mean, some of them even sent me messages of support before the trial. I mean, they were happy enough to be associated with Abago Hero, but a jailbird. <laughs> nah, that was different, wasn't it? Well, maybe it is time to move on, then. Got no choice now, love. Listen, Dad, could you do us a favour? There's another building contract coming round to ours today. Could you show them round? It's just that me and Max haven't got time to wait in all day. And I have, like. Oh, hiya. Beth wants Grandad to do a jigsaw with her. Oh, good. Well, nice to see that somebody still appreciates me. Rachel, you've got a bit of iron in here. Is there any chance? Yeah, sure. It's mostly the kids' stuff. Ah. Is he OK? Oh, yeah. Must have stretched too quickly or something. You want to be careful in your condition. Hey, will you keep your voice down? I haven't told me dad about it yet. Sorry. When are you going to tell him? And I feel a bit happier about having it, if that ever happens. Mm, don't say that. Well, it's true. You'll soon start nesting. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, is the tenant all right? Yeah, great. There's a bit more around at ours, but I could manage it. All right. I'll go and get it. Thanks. All of boarding school fees. I know you're only thinking about Louise, but so am I. Whoever shaved the legs in the bathroom last oh, night sure wins the Dirty that. Mayor of the Week award. Uh, and you're hardly with Nate and Tidy. Why do you always have to drop your mail wherever you open it? A lump yeah, sum. Just have. What well, at least don't leave me toenail cuttings on over the couch. Uh, that Why? wasn't me. Toenail cuttings on the couch. How'd you plead? Who would you see think he is? What's up? Richard has just tried to buy Louise off me. You are? Well, that's what it boils down to. He's offering to pay his school fees and give me a lump sum if I send her back to boarding school. Mm, that's good news, isn't it? No. Because you won't say you're staying with him every other weekend and half the holidays, if it's OK with Louise. But it's obvious who she'd rather be with. Well, that's not Richard's fault. But anyway, she'll still want to spend time with you as well. I doubt it. She only ran off to him in the first place because she hates me so much. Stop feeling so sorry for yourself. I can't see what your problem is. Louise gets to go back to a posh school and you get a drop, see everyone's happy. He's bribing me. It'd be like selling my own child. I mean, what kind of mother does that? Oh, apart from Jackie Dixon. You had no problem packing it off to boarding school when she was seven. I did. It really hurt. As if. You were too busy living it up with Richard to notice. I only did it to give her a better chance in life. To free up your leisure time, more like. Look, just forget your pride and do what's best for Louise for once. You never know. She might stop hating you. It's inhumane. And it's been going on all night. It kept me awake. Hurry up, then. We're going to be late for our lesson. Have you heard the noise that poor animal's making from in that van? Nothing to do with me, kid. Timbo! Pig Liberation Front have come for you! It's a pig. What's he doing with a pig? Well, it doesn't matter. What matters is it's suffering. It's probably only making that racket because it's starving. Hey, Dr. Doofrigal, get down here, will you? Have you heard the noise that poor pig's making from in there? Someone dumped it on me. I don't know where to take it. Dumped it? It's a living, breathing creature. It's a bleeding nuisance. So you're going to do something about it or what? Yeah. That's none of your business. Good. You're lucky I never reported you. See ya. Nosy little cow. She's right. 
You can't keep Porky locked up there for much longer. No, his name's Rover. Rover! Get out of it. That's what the fella said. Well, whatever it's called, you're going to need to feed it and exercise it. But where? I don't know, in the garden or somewhere. Be happy as a pig in... whatever there, won't it? I've got to see all this has cheered you up. Guess what, I'm feeling a lot more like my old self today, aren't I? Good luck! Hey, did you hear about the letter Max got from Leanne Powell's solicitor? Hey, she's only doing it to try and get some money out of Bev, so you make sure that Maxie tells her what to do. Oh, no, Dad, that pleasure's gonna be all mine. <sighs> I didn't realise it was that much. You're the star. See you later. Hey, hey, hey. Careful. Oh, I can't believe she expects me to do all this. I'll take you long. I'll be at it all morning. I'm surprised they've got anything left to wear. I mean, what does she think I am? Hey, Rach, hard Jackie's doing you the favour here, you know, love, not the other way round. Oh, yeah? Oh, this for a lousy tenner. You're joking, aren't you? Yeah, well, that tenner will pay two weeks' instalments on your debt. The only joke here is that you got off with paying a fiver a week off a loan of thousands. Oh, so I suppose you think I should just be grateful for getting off so easy? Well, quite frankly, love, yeah. So instead of whinging on about a bit of work, I suggest that you get stuck into it. Yeah, well, I've got no choice. That don't mean I've got to be grateful for skivvying for Jackie. <sighs> Bother you than me, mate. Doesn't sound too happy, does it? Have you thought how you're going to get it out of there and into the garden? No, I'll just chase it in. Chase it in? Okay. It's tired, it's hungry, it's been locked in a van all night. Think it's just going to do what you tell it to do? You are pig ignorant to terms, you know that? So what do you suggest to do then? These are what you need. I've just been on the net, see if you can find out about pigs. And some of those sites, yes, are very unusual. But I found one that had some very handy hints on how to handle them, right? So what you've got to do is you've got to guide it with this, yeah? Mm -hmm. And shield its vision with this, like a matador. What? Why get you so get it out the van and then whack it in the garden? No, you don't whack it with anything. Hurt it and you'll never catch it. They freeze when they're scared. You'll never be able to move it then. You've got to steer it in gently, gently, gently. Yeah. Best of British. I'll open the doors for you. I'm sure Katie didn't mean to sound so harsh before. But she has got a point. What that has happily give me daughter up for money? If letting Richard pay for her school makes Louise happy, then what is the problem? I'll be squeezed out of her life. Only if you let that happen. Look, I know you all think I'm a crap mother, but I've always tried to do my best for her. And I'm sure deep down Louise knows that. I doubt it. Well, then you've got to change that. But that might mean having to give her what she wants. And let Richard take her off me. Well, if you don't, you're only going to force her further away from you anyway. <sighs> yeah, who's the daddy now, eh? You made a right pig's ear of that. He nearly killed me. Well, you wouldn't be very happy if you'd been locked in a cold van all night with no scram, would you? But the message made. Well, they don't say like a pig in shit for nothing, do they? Right. That's it. I don't care how it goes. It's got to go today. Yeah, we're well, gonna have to feed it first. No. As soon as it's had a little run round, it's going right back in the van, and then I'm gonna drop it off somewhere, anywhere. Use your loaf, will you? It'll be a lot easier to handle if it's been fed first. Yeah. And what do we feed it with? Well, I don't know anything. That's why they call pigs stupid. Use the leftovers in the fridge, and there's a loaf going stale in there. Give it that. No, it's gonna have to wait. I want to get changed and have my breakfast first. Oh, pig's sick of the poor thing already, are ya? Feed it! Stupid pig. I'm gonna eat it as soon as it gets cut up. What are you doing? Thought I'd make a start on this lot for you. Yeah, well, there's no need. I can do it myself. I need the money. Look, Rach, forget about what I said before, love. You carry on with Beth, and I'll crack on with this lot. I don't mind, honestly. Oh, that's nine. You're old, isn't uh, For your information, I was assigned to the prison laundry. I used to enjoy it, too. Used to take my mind off things. Yeah, well, Jackie's paid me to do it. Yeah, well, I don't want any money off. At least while I'm doing this, I can forget about things. Yeah. 
You're late. Came straight from your lesson. I'm having a break. How are you people going to pay for them? <sighs> I hate her. She thinks she's my boss. You should stand up to her. I'm going to. I mean, I have been here the longest. Have um, your mum and dad come across with the money for your new lenses, yeah? No. And they're not going to either. I haven't to pay for it out my holiday money. Downer. <sighs> Tell me about it. So, um, how come you never came round to Michelle's last night? I was just busy. Doing what? Just busy. Is it, um, that lad that's been coming in here? The one you told me about? Yeah. What's his name? Gareth. And he said nice. Yeah, piggy! <laughs> You little... Hey, Jim. Hi, hey, it's all right. Bit of a gardener, eh? No, not really. I'm just preparing the ground, you know, for some uh, plants. Picked up a few tips off one of those gardening web pages, you know. All I need to do now is buy the bed and plants. What's that smell? Oh, I came across some pigs... Pig manure. I'm just uh, putting it to good use, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you off to see Ray? Yeah, I hope he's in. I want to show him some books I got from the library. Oh, yeah? Anything interesting? Uh, just some info on how to trace people. We decided to try and find my real mum, Sylvia. Nice one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we will or not, but Ray seems hopeful. Oh, good luck with it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'm going to get in. Hey, anyway, see ya. Yeah, see ya, kid. Sorry, love, but Ray's took Jessie to Chester for the day. Oh, I knew I should have rang first. Um, you're welcome to go in for a couple if you like. Oh, no, thanks, sir. I'd better get off. Could you tell him that I called, then? Yeah, sure. What's going on, Jimmy? Open the back door, give it some way to go. Somebody explain to me why a pig has just went through my house. And hey, make sure that stinking thing doesn't escape again or I'll be on the phone to the police. Yeah, I'm trying to get some kip here. Come on. Good job it didn't wake Beth up. It wouldn't really scared her. <sighs> you okay now? Yeah. My nerves are a bit shot. It's not every day you get attacked by a marauding pig, is it? So fancy coming over to ours for a cuppa? Calm yourself down? Oh, that's really nice of you. Yeah. Thanks. Come on. So you about all this, Mr. Dixon? Yeah, well, I suppose I should be used to the goings on round here by now, eh? I haven't really had the chance to talk to you since you got out, have I? Do you know what? Funny you should say that. Cos not a lot of people have. And I'm sure it's nothing to do with them feeling uncomfortable or ashamed of being seen talking to someone who's fresh out of prison like... No, it's not like that with me. I know what it's like getting out. I've been there. I just wanted to let you know how grateful I am. You could have easily blown me up about that gun. But you never. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, lad, I'm not sure that I made the right decision. Because the way my life's going, if I could turn back time, I'd happily drop you around in it. Yeah, no. And I'm sorry. But I won't forget it. No. Neither will I, son. Neither will I. I'm sorry I went off on one this morning. You were only speaking your mind, I suppose. Have you thought any more about what you're going to do about Richard's offer? Oh, I've thought of nothing else. And I should probably accept it and let Louise go back to boarding school. It's what she wants. But I can't help feeling like this is my last chance to prove I can be a good mum. I can't see Louise being happy about staying here. I know. We've got 15 minutes of my lunch hour left if you want to talk it over. 
Oh, thanks. I'll just grab a sandwich. Just that, thanks. You back in the elf club? Thought Queen Jackie had given you the boot. Well, you heard wrong then, didn't you? Well, the black fella's gone, though, hasn't he? You know, the fit one. Something about you and him, I heard. You shouldn't listen to gossips. Well, whether you like it or not, love, we've both got something in common. You see, Madame Farnham looks down her nose at both of us. You never know. Me and you could even help each other out. <sighs> I don't think so. Aren't you gonna let him do anything? <laughs> Mind your own business. Right, you, out! You can't make her leave. Can't I? I'm a customer. On your way, you're distracting the staff. She's me mate. Beat it, I said. Go on. See you later. Did you have to make a show of me like that? Hey, you only work here for your pencil money. It's my livelihood, so do as I say. Oh, you're not me boss. Maybe not, but if you want to get on the wrong side of me, feel free. We'll soon see you is in charge. So what do I say to the library? I'm sorry, but my books were ruined by an escaped pig. <laughs> well, thank you, telling porkies. <laughs> Look, I'm um, sorry about before. You okay? Yeah. Listen, you'll have to cop up if Helen has to replace these books, you know. Yeah, of course. Well, they might let me off when I tell them what happened. Well, don't worry. If you do get into trouble over it, Tim will save your bacon. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Listen, um, I might be able to help you in your search for your mum. Really? How? I'm a bit of a net head. Maybe we could find something that can help you. OK, but um, I haven't got long. I've got to get Steph from school. Better not waste any time, then, eh? Grab your tea. Let's go through. If you're really honest with yourself, can you blame Louise for wanting to be with Richard? He's not even a real dad. It's the closest thing she's ever had to one. Oh, tell me about it. I had to raise her on my own, virtually. I know. It hasn't been easy for you. You've got to admit, you've made mistakes. I've had my problems. My drinking. It's not just that. What the time you went on holiday and left her on her own? You know, that was just a misunderstanding. Even so, it just goes to prove that Louise wasn't always your first priority. OK, so I've been selfish at times, but I went straight from school to being a mum. I mean, was it so wrong of me to want to enjoy myself now and again? No, but you can't be angry with Louise for wanting some stability, and that's what Richard gives her. Stability? You're talking about a man who changes his women like men change the cars? I mean, it was hard enough being replaced by a younger model, but I am not going to let Richard and his latest girlfriend play happy families with my daughter. I'm going to go down there and tell him that he can't buy me off. What? And tell Louise against you even more? No. If Louise wants to go back to boarding school, she can. But I'm going to win her back, and I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to prove to her that I can be a good mum and that it's me she should be staying with. I'm good. But just don't make things worse than they already are. Right. Let's have a little look, eh? There we go. That's my website. <laughs> That's you. Yeah, I'm my old dog, Cracker. <laughs> the thoughts of Chairman Jim. I'll have to get our staff to have a look. Well, I don't think she'd be interested in reading my rantings. Right, let's see if we can find something about your mum, eh? OK, type in her name there. <clears throat> we'll use a name search first. I mean, it's unlikely that we'll strike lucky first time, but you never know, might find something. OK, and uh, right-click on that. Oh, sorry. Should let you do that. Thanks for doing all this. I enjoyed it. Helped clean my mind a bit. What are you doing? I'm sending back all the prepaid envelopes from the junk mail that those credit card companies and loan sharks sent me. See, most people just lash them in the bin, but I send them all back empty. <laughs> At least that way, they have to pay postage. Serves them right. Yeah, well, perhaps if everybody did it, it'd stop bombarding us all with the loan offers. Forcing people into debt. Listen, Rach, um, I'm sorry if you thought that I was having a go at you before. I didn't mean it to come out like it did. You meant what you said, though, didn't you? Yeah, well, after all that's happened to me over the last year, I'm past caring what I say to people. From now on, love, I speak my mind, even if the truth isn't always pleasant. And I stand by what I said. 
How can you moan about doing a bit of work, given the mess you've got yourself into? What are you doing up again? I couldn't get back to sleep after Tim and Jimmy's pig circus. You got no chance of any peace and quiet around here, son. You know, sometimes I wish I could just get away from the place, the area, the people, this house. See you later. Some of those sites look really promising. Yeah, well, um, you'll have to come back sometime with Bay. Oh, well, as long as you don't mind. I, I don't want to take up your time. No, you wouldn't be. Don't worry about it. Well, uh, at least let me thank you properly. Um, how about I take you for a drink sometime? <laughs> what, me? Yeah. After all, you did save me from a scary pig. OK, great. Right, um, I think I'm free next Wednesday. Um, how about the bar around the corner, about seven-ish? I'll be there. OK, then. I'll see you then. Typical. What? Tell us how to do our job. Who? That management blaze who was in here the other week going on about quotas and targets. What's he said? He reckons we're not shifting enough chocolates. I ask you for a flame and petrol station. We do our bit. Not all through the till, though. Hey, I've told you. Everything I have goes down a staff discount. Oh, that's all I need. Did you really think that Max would agree to be a witness for you? He can't deny you saw Bev attack me. Well, there's no way he'd ever testify for you against Bev. So you wasted your time getting your solicitor to send this. Oh, Max isn't like you, Jackie. He's decent and he's honest. Bev should be made to pay for what she did to me. Well, it's hard luck, because Max isn't going to help you. And without a witness, there's no way you'll be able to sue Bev. You're going to regret this. Oh, really? Well, if you think I'm going to let you into my health club to cause trouble, you're mistaken. So here's another little present for you. There's the balance on the rest of your membership repaid in full. I don't want you anywhere near that club. You can't just boot me out for no reason. I just have. And don't bother coming near the bar again either, cos you're banned from there as well. See ya. She just collapsed. Jackie! Jackie! Did you mind? Get the medical centre to call an ambulance. Go on! And don't forget to mention she's in the early stages of pregnancy. Pregnant? Just study up, will you? Her life could be in danger as well as the baby's. Go on! Pains. I thought I was all right. You weren't. So when are we going to meet this Gareth, then? Never, if you keep going on about him. Why has he got two heads and web feet? But listen, can we be mates without, you know, knowing everything about each other? I don't see why not. It's hard. If I thought for one so moment... if you're 25, is it, eh? How many women have you knocked up, for God's sake? All that to come on Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Next up, an evening of Friday comedy, and if God had wanted priests to fly, he wouldn't have given them Dougal and Graham Norton.
last I was in the street. Why? Tell me. You had to have an operation. You would have died otherwise. The baby? Well, I just had a, a few little pains. I thought I was all right. You weren't. You had an ectopic pregnancy. With a baby screwing inside your womb. One of your fallopian tubes above the womb. No baby. What are you doing? Pigs going bananas. It's the only way to keep it quiet. Oh, just get shut a bit, will ya? I'm trying, aren't I? What are you doing up anyway? Research. Some of these people reckon I can cure myself through diet, nutrition, vitamins, all that sort of stuff. I want to check it out. Yeah, you want to check this out? Hey, oh, just get shut of that animal, will ya? A nuisance. I thought you might fancy a copper. Go on, tea. Get your banana, all right? If I want tea, I'll get me own. It's only a cup of tea. Well, if you change your mind. Your mate at the doctor's knew what Jackie was expecting. I suppose you did know. I didn't. Katie, was the baby in danger? Like, is that why Jacqueline didn't want me to know in case something went wrong? I love me grandchildren. I love all of them to bits, and she knows how important they are to me. Whatever it was with this one. Katie, I know how you feel about me. Careful on the stairs. Not so fast, Harry. Go on. What's that? Yeah. Right. Is that too still aching? Yeah, I didn't have any painkillers. Hey, not so you lot. You any news about our Jackie? Yeah, your dad phoned. She's had to have an operation. An operation? What for? I don't know. He hadn't phoned back since last night. I better get down there then. Don't you think she goes to the dentist first? Well, I still have told you we can't afford it. I don't see what the big deal is. Why don't you just tell me his name? Mind your own business. Got some poncy name, has he? No. Then why won't you tell me? And do you know? Dad. His name's Gareth, all right? How old is he? Oh, stop it, will you? So he's the reason you've gone and wasted your money on more contact lenses. Well, I had no choice, did I? It's funny how you couldn't afford them when you wanted me to pay for them. So when are we going to meet this Gareth, then? Never, if you keep going on about him. Why has he got two heads and webbed feet? Oh, don't you start as well? Well, call me old-fashioned, but I'd like to know my daughter's knocking around with. Then why do you always say no when I ask if I can have my mate child? I don't. You do? You're dreaming. You say one thing, then you change your mind. You said you paid for me a lens at Christmas, then you went back on what you said. Look, if you want your friends round, go ahead. Great. Well, come here. I want to go now. You all right, son? Yeah. Everything all right at school? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Dad, what's going on? Is she OK? We haven't seen her yet. Well, what's wrong with her? She was pregnant. Yeah, I know that. Am I the only one who didn't like? Oh, what about the baby? He's grown outside the womb. They've had to operate. So she's lost her? You know, you said I could have my mate around. Well, can they come tonight? Do what? Well, you said. Yeah, uh, I suppose so. Uh, look, I've got to go. Does this mean we're going to see Garrett then? I don't want you anywhere near when we meet her here. Oh, I'll have to see about that. Mean it. Go to the pub or somewhere. She's awake. So Casey's been there all night. Why didn't you ask her to come in? You can see later they've been ignoring each other all night. You all right, love? How are you feeling? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm sorry about the baby. Rachel will be gutted. She knew about it as well. Why didn't you tell me? Well, she'll find out by accident. Jackie didn't want anyone to know. Not until she'd gone 12 weeks. Katie Rogers knew and all, you know. And that niece she won. The kid's OK? Yeah, the fine with Rachel. She told them Mummy had a load of jobs to do this week, so they had to stay at Grandad's. Tell her she's brill. 
You must have had some warning about this, love. You don't collapse on the prey just like that. Dad, I just thought I had stomach pains, that's all. Did you know she wasn't well? It was nothing, Dad. You lost a baby, did you? Dad. I had no idea that any of this was going to happen. It's no excuse. Dad, will you stop it? Hey, my daughter collapses in the street and loses a baby. And he's off at some stupid school governor's meeting with that doctor's wife. Dad. If I thought for one moment... So if you're 25, is it, eh? How many women have you knocked up, for God's sake? Makes me wonder if you really wanted another baby or not. Stop it. It wasn't like that. And if you were such a perfect father, you would realise that your daughter doesn't need this right now. No way. Dad, will you stop it? She doesn't need any of this. Now, come on. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, of course you will, love you. I'll see you later, sis. See you. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? Seems a shame to turn it into bacon and stuff. Yo, I'm gonna have to get shut today. We'll have to start buying food for it. We we'll make nothing on this deal. Well, you're gonna have to wait for our Christie, aren't you? Grand. I said I'd never work with that Blair's again. That Blair's the only fella who can help you. Used to work in a slaughterhouse. He knows the meat business inside out. Have you called him? I told you, yeah. He will call him again. Little Katie Rogers cares more than he does. Dad, would you just chill out? He was right about one thing. She doesn't need all this. Katie, are you going in to see our Jacqueline? Yeah. Why don't you say thanks for what you did when she collapsed? She's a mate. What else would you do? Well, not only that. Staying here all night with me. Well, it means a lot to me at a sad time like this. What? Well, I thought now that, you know, maybe you and I could move on a bit. <laughs> no. But you stayed with me all night. What was that, Bruce? Is that I love Jackie more than I hate you? Maybe you should ask for more than 50. No, you want shut of it, don't you? Don't get greedy. No, but think of how much meat there is. I mean, there's bacon, and legs of pork, sausages, liver, <laughs> even the trotters. Nothing goes to waste on a pig. You brought the money with you? You said you wanted 50 quid. Well, where is it? We'll see it first. It's in there. You give me 50 quid and I'll get shut of it for you. You what? It's a cuny cuny. It's a pet pig. There's naff all meat on them, mate. They're all fat. So? Well, you know, I suppose you could shave it, you know, use the hair to stuff a mattress, but apart from that... Hang on a sec, you're saying you don't want it? Give me 50 quid, I'll get rid of it for you. No way. I'll take you for pet food then, might get 20 for a fella I know. No, I get the 20. I thought you wanted shot of it. If that's how you feel, keep it. No. Well, what do you want to do then? I don't know. Do your favour. You've got a hammer. Yeah, what for? A couple of hard taps between the eyes should do it. Then I'm going to need a plazzy sheet and a saw. No, I... I, I can do the back of your van, no problem. Oh, no, can't you do it away from here, like in a proper place? Not that easy, is it? No paperwork for slaughtering, you see. Go on, get a hammer, I'll be done in a jiffy. No, it's all right. I'll sort it. I'm soft, have you? Draw the line at violence against animals. Said I'll sort it. All right. Please yourself. What are you going to do now? No, I'll just get rid of it somewhere. Where? Is our Casey still at the hospital? Yeah. What's the news on Jackie? Oh, she's had an ectopic. She's okay, but she lost the baby. Oh, God. Oh, poor Jackie. I know. It's a good job she collapsed near us and we got her in, otherwise, it could have been fatal. Well, how long are they keeping her in? Could be a week. Oh, well, I better get into work straight away. Does this mean we'll get a rest from you slagging off Richard and him trying to buy off Louise? I've told you, I'm going to go down to London and talk to both of them. What, and start a big kick-off? OK. So I was mad at him for suggesting it. I'm for Lou staying down there. But if she really wants to go back to her old school and split her time between me and Richard, well, I might be able to go along with that. Really? Well, if it's what she wants. You're leaving it to a ten-year-old to decide. I just want what's best for me daughter, Niche. I know. I suppose it's all right. It's loads of water. 
and mud to wall around in, eh? Come on. Bye, piggy. Let's go. Yeah, let's move it. No, stay here. Go back. Go Shoot. back. Come on, let's go. Posting this rubbish back in their own prepaid envelopes. Hey, it's mine and Mike's post. Well, you don't need it. No, it's still private. We might get into trouble for you doing that. Look, if you want to help me out, you could do some more ironing. I've got to do the kids' tea. I'd welcome it, love. Thought I might get some kip after last night, but I can't. Oh, a woman rang for you. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Coates. Hey, she was a good customer, eh? Tell you what, I'll give it a ring now, then I'll make a start on that one. Thanks. What time are they coming? About seven. I asked Gareth to come round a bit earlier. What happens when your mum and dad get home? Well, he knows I'm having people round. Yeah, but are they ready for Gareth? <laughs> <laughs> well, nearly there. The one's only costing a five in a week, so we'll be laughing soon. Yeah, but we still can't afford for you to go to the dentist. Oh, all right. Mrs. Coates is desperate for a new cleaner. She says she wants us great grannies. I thought you were finished. Yeah, well, I've obviously been talking to the wrong ex-customers. Had a good netter with her. What did you tell her? Well, what could I say? That we'd be back up to speed in a month or so. Hmm? Are you sure about this ironing? It's an awful job. Do you know what? That's exactly what Rita's just been saying. The thing that she misses most is us doing her ironing. This dad, Joe? Yeah. yeah. You just gonna sit there reading all night? I'm waiting for someone. Yeah, I'm like they spend more than you do. I'm surprised you're not dashing around to Rita's right now. She's 81. I meant for the business. Like I said, she's 81. Hello. You might have something there, Michael. What, so you are doing the business for lonely old grannies? I could relaunch Great Grannies as an iron business. <laughs> well, I could give you a reference now. I bet them yuppie types would go for it, wouldn't they, eh? Well, you go for it. Great Grannies used to be a winner. Yeah, but I'm an ex-con now, aren't I? Yeah, so what? You were only talking to four of your old clients the other day. And I'm sure there's plenty more like Granny Coates who'll have the hots for you. Yeah? yeah, I'd need a bank loan to get things started and all, wouldn't I? Yeah, we'll get one then. <sighs> I'll think about it. What is it now? Um, well, uh... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry I interrupted you. Oh, sorry, I was miles away there. So I see. I just thought I'd carry on with my studying while I was waiting. Looks important. What is it? Um, it's about nutrition, you know, the effect that vitamins and things can have on the body. You must enjoy reading. Yeah, well, the thirst for knowledge and all that. <laughs> can I get you a drink? A uh, glass of white wine would be nice. Glass of white wine coming up. Oh, cheers. What a day. It was mad at work without Jackie. Louise returned your call. You ring her back. Is everything all right? Oh, she's doing fine. So what's the news on Jackie? Do you know when she's coming out? Oh, I don't know, yeah. Hey, nobody at the club had a clue she was pregnant. Well, I only found out through work. How's she taking it? Hmm. I'm not so sure she even wanted it, but I don't think she knows what to feel. Yeah? Anyway, we decided what you're going to do about Louise. Well, I'm going to go down to London as soon as I can. I mean, if she really wants to go back to her old school and split her time between me and Richard, well, I think I'm going to have to go along with it. I miss her. I quite like being Auntie Casey, but I think that's right. Well, I am going to have her for holidays and some weekends, so you are going to see it again. When will you be going down? Uh, like I say, I mean, it's just mad at work at the moment. Hiya. Hiya. I've got to sort us to do, Sammy. Ooh, what's this? You passed your exam? Yeah. This is me, a newly qualified, totally legal registered drug dealer. Anyone want any painkillers? Just ask. Or boracic lint, surgical stock. <laughs> Incontinence aids are my speciality. <laughs> oh, no way, I'm in work later, but if you still drink them when I get home, will we? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, congratulations! <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, 
What's this I heard about your Jackie around the office? And they said she was in hospital. She'll be fine, but she's lost the baby. Didn't even know she was pregnant. Makes two of us. Well, she didn't even tell you. You were saying about your ex-wife? 27 years, and then sometimes I feel like I've never been married at all. You don't miss her? No, not really. <laughs> I miss my ex sometimes. The feeling soon passes, though. Why did you break up? 27 years, a lot longer than most people manage. Things didn't work out, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. We should be enjoying ourselves, not raking over the past. Listen, can we be mates without, you know, knowing everything about each other? I don't see why not. So, um, did you get any further on the computer? Looking for me, Mum? Uh, oh, busy with other stuff. <laughs> I'll get there. I mean, there's plenty of sites where you can trace people from way back, you know. Really? Mm -hmm. She's having pains. I think that's a carry-on flogging herself to death, running the club and this place. No wonder it all went wrong. I beg your pardon, but I think you'll find it's me flogging myself at this place. Yeah, but well, you know what I mean. She's got the money. There's no need for her to be a working mother. Mm, I'm learning the hard way myself. Well, over half my wages goes on childcare, right? I mean, I'm running around mental, and she's getting paid for sitting there watching TV with Josh. Then she tells me she can't make it tomorrow. And I've got the after-school club on to me. What about? Well, they reckon Josh is a disruptive influence. In other words, they want him out, or on a warning at least. I do not know I'm going to manage if he has to leave. Well, I can always babysit him. Oh, I. And what's the catch? You put me to bed and all? No catch. I need to get away from Mars, and I wouldn't need paying. I can do tomorrow night for you, if you like. Oh, would you? I don't mind, honestly. And I'll save you the few, Bob. This one is on me. Uh, I thought you were meant to be saving money. OK. On your Jackie, then? <laughs> Pizza guy's here. <laughs> what? He made it, who are you? Get out of me, Greg! Dale! Who are you pushing? Cards. I tried to stop them. Tom, this is me dad, you moron. Oh, sorry. I like Mr. Murray. Gareth, this is me dad. Dad, this is Gareth. All right, Mr. Murray. How would you do? Pleased to meet you, Gareth. I never said anything about drinking. I'm not drinking, neither am I. Who's that? Who's that? It's me, Dad. Your mum said something about a casserole in the oven. I'll take mine upstairs. Uh, can't you nip out some chips? Oh, Dad, you're not drinking. Oh, I'm not drinking. Neither am I. Who's that? Who's that? It's me, Dad. Your mum said something about a casserole in the oven. I'll take mine upstairs. Uh, can't you nip out some chips? What about Anthony? Where's he? He's in his room. He says he didn't want any tea. I want them all out by ten. And I mean it. Any chance of some toast? Oh, sorry, Mr. Murray. Personal violence, can I help you? Uh, um, no, no, sorry, wrong number. Wanting all the chippy? Dale said he had not any tea. The damn gannets had eaten a lot. So I'm going on the chippy. So do you fancy walking down there? What shall I get you? I don't want any thunder. You're very quiet. Are you sickening? No, I'm all right. I'm just... just not hungry. Are you sure everything's all right at school? Mrs Plummer said you'd settled down really well after, you know, what happened. Hey, listen, I know I've said this before, but if there is something wrong, you will tell us, won't you? Well, I'll, uh, I'll get a bit extra, just in case you change your mind. See you soon. Bye. I'm gonna have to get going. The neighbour's watching our staff, and she's got an early start tomorrow. Right. So, um, we're gonna do this again? Do you think we should? Yeah, why not? I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> Makes a change to get out, even if it is just for a drink. Maybe we could go for dinner or something next time. I mean, half and half, each pay our share. Yeah, sure, why not? So long as you uh, drink the same as me. Does it bother you coming for a drink? 
No, why? The orange juice, sir. Look, um, I hope I'm not saying something I shouldn't, but your marriage and that, was it something to do with you drinking? <gasps> no. No, no, this is just... Um, uh, I don't drink anymore. I've never had a problem with drink. Never. Honest, honest. There are things I should tell you about. I thought we could be mates without all that stuff. And if you think I'm sharing any of my skeletons, you've got another thing coming. I just feel... Jimmy, it's been a really nice night, and I hope it'll be nice in the future, so... why don't we stay in touch and try to enjoy ourselves? Keep it light. I'm gonna have to go. Right, well, uh, thanks for a nice night. Charmy, I'd like up a donkey, couldn't he? Couldn't he? Well, we haven't agreed the price yet, but it's definitely cash up front. Nice one. I'm so sorry that I didn't want this baby. Oh, yeah, and that cloth cow's been found. Imelda? And if you want to talk about all things Brookie, log on to channel4.com slash brookside. Well, excellent for Andrew Winter tries to shift a stubborn two-bed property in Portsmouth in selling houses. Thank you.